Under President Benigno Aquino, the Philippine economy is one of the world's fastest growing and a darling among foreign investors in search of a safe haven. With his anti-corruption campaign, businessmen and investors are betting on an economy that grew an impressive 5.9% in the second quarter or 6.1% in the first six months. Aquino tells Rappler this growing number of interested investors makes the playing field less vulnerable to being controlled by a few. Uh, the names of uh, MVP or Ramon Ang competing for the same projects. As but they're not the only competitors and there are also foreign players that also want to be part of it. What would be wrong, I think, if we, sp if we had crony capitalists, no? regardless of their efficiencies, they keep winning anything and everything. And I don't think there's been any allegation that we favored one group over another. He cites a conversation with a Filipino billionaire who lost in a bidding. In one of the best conversations I had, I think it was with Adul Tarno. They were, they bidded for the FTI property they lost. You know, first time, it's in my experience that somebody who was interested in something bid, lost, and was still smiling and happy. Key industries in the Philippines are associated with a few families, thanks to strong lobby on lawmakers that parceled out rights to monopolized businesses. Under Aquino, some businessmen have a hard time getting favorable policies. Aquino is bent on imposing higher taxes on cigarettes and alcohol, two businesses that, for decades, were made affordable through legislation. And I think we have a, a very good advocates in both the House and in the Senate to be able to, to reach at between 30 and 40 at least for both products. Mining firms are facing the same dilemma. Do you like mining? In the sense that it will add job opportunities, add revenues, yes. Right. But at the end of the day, we think that the vast majority of our populace is not involved in mining, but is also at risk. Uh, the interests of the majority, you know, if not the entire populace, should be the primary consideration, which I've often stated, mm -hmm. rather than any, just any specific sector. Instead of mining, he favors tourism as a key dollar earner and economic player. Only under Aquino's watch is there a firm policy to increase competition among airlines, bringing in more dollar spending tourists. There's one area where President Aquino wavers, tapping private companies to shoulder the cost of infrastructure. Mr. Biden, I perhaps started off on the wrong premise. Doing it in a purely PPP fashion um, it, it presents a choice where if you have no other means of affecting that particular project, then you will have to bear uh, certain privileges that you grant uh, the proponent to, to get to entice him to do it. While major roads, airports, irrigation, and flood control projects are delayed, he singles out a road project that he wants finished when he steps down in 2016. Uh, NLEX SLEX connector <laughs> is something that I want to inaugurate and to drive on while I'm still president. Two groups are eyeing this road project, San Miguel and Metro Pacific Investments. The two conglomerates that already control the country's biggest infrastructure, power, airline, telecommunication, mining, alcohol, and other businesses. With three more years in Aquino's term as Philippine president, many will watch and hope that this playing field remains competitive for all. Lala Rimando, Rappler, Manila.